is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. Okay, just throwing that out there. Perhaps instead of focusing on someone's reactions to abuse, society should start focusing on the actual abuse they are reacting to. I have a feeling I'm not going to have much to say because she's, you're fucking with my vibe. Oh, and then you have Jay-Z and Beyonce playing. Ugh, sorry. (laughs) Want to be a stay-at-home parent? What about a, Heather says, what about a 37-year-old mother of four who has been severely abused her entire life since early age by traumas that most will never even fathom who finds parenting the most stable, rewarding, and valuable experience she has ever had the privilege of engaging it. You don't deserve it. The way you treat those kids, you don't deserve it, and you know it, and that's all I'm fucking saying. You guys have been speaking a lot lately on this Candace Owens rhetoric. Um, she's taking a lot of slack from, or flack, from the community of trans. Um, I haven't heard much argument from the gay and lesbian community against her, mostly from the trans community. And I just wanted to say that um, the only point I really strongly disagree with her on is the part about love. I don't think these trans kids are getting too much love. I think they've been incredibly rejected in their home lives a lot of time and feel incredibly misplaced, displaced, or on their own, and that loving them is definitely the answer but therapy is also the answer you know we don't have to change our minds and say oh well you have a penis but you say you're a woman so i guess you're a woman we can still stick with our rhetoric and be loving i don't think that anger and hatred um, and with that being that's why you got cut off and with that being said there's this other account this charlie account from turning point america or turning point usa um i'm gonna tag it right here I do like him too. Where he says something critical and crucial. And he says, when the rhetoric stops, when the conversation stops, that's when the abuse, the civil unrest begins. When people feel so terrified to speak on anything that's going on or how they feel about what's going on, um, violence ensues. And I think that that's very important as well. Um, I'm going to tag the account. I think that our hardest and most difficult conversations are also our most productive ones. Um, And that the people who should be engaging in rhetoric are the people who see things differently because it provides us all with opportunity to meet each other halfway. You know what would be fantastic? Uh, A lot of things, honestly, right now, Heather. (laughs) What influencers have you grown with? (laughs) Tag their account, please. I could find some influencers, and if you know of any of them, please tag them right here. Put them right here in this little box. If I could find any influencers who have been permitted the grace to evolve, who has begun very much like a Candace Owens in a conservative, uh, I'm sorry, very liberal um, viewpoint, and who have evolved into either conservatives or changed their career or changed their niche or changed their anything and and stood the test of time through social media and influencing. This is such an unforgiving platform in so many ways. Not the platform, but uh, social media in general. How can we create... Woo! Give it up for whoever just got that applause. Hell yeah. I don't know what they clapping at. Where is she at? Is this like an arcade? Where is she at? Where are they clapping? the opportunity for growth and evolution without punishing us for who we once were, who our unenlightened selves were. Uh, point of view. You are four weeks postpartum and desperate to start exercising again, and then you find my account. <laughs> oh my gosh. So then Heather says, I'm two weeks postpartum and desperate to work out again, but getting super 
pained after only walking about a mile or so. My doctor said to listen to my body and I have a fitness training background so I knew that already but I'm feeling guilty and lazy for not being able to do more. Why the, Why would you scream? Sh- like you can't even have a personal life Heather. Can, you can't even do that. Why do you have to screenshot your comment on someone else's platform and then show us what you said on their platform? We really don't care. Like that was there was no need. That was very unnecessary. Oh Lord, bless my Jesus. This is the iconic St. James Cathedral with amazing architecture and stained glass art unlike any the churches in my neighborhood growing up. I want to see that. I haven't seen that. Where's the... Was that the altar? Is that Xavier? You got some tennis shoes. Oh, there's Jesus. Oh, that's my favorite. Don't go over there, Heather. I fucking swear. Don't go over there unless you're about to take communion and you're about to kneel and pray. I swear. I'm not in the mood. You made me laugh earlier, but now you're about to make me really want to hurt you. That's pretty. So while Xavier and I were dealing with homelessness um, for those 377 plus days that we were having nowhere to sleep or sleeping in the tent, there were several times when we did not feel safe. Um, This was more than a year ago when we didn't even have a tent at one point. This church, St. James, opens their doors from 10 a.m., I believe, to 5 or 6 p.m., and they allowed us to sleep in the pews during the day. Um, That's amazing. Catches on my feels. And it just bothers me so bad because it's like, I feel like she's using God. It makes me so, ugh. And I know, like, God wants her and Xavier there and safe and be in the church and in his home and everything like that. But it makes me so mad because it's like you had all that time laying in those pews. Nothing, Heather? No, no, nothing, nothing clicked with you, eh? And you coming back to it. I mean, I got it. I just got to shut up because I'm getting like really frustrated with her we would stay awake at night and this was the only place that we could find that was warm and heated that would let us sleep so i'm trying to um, just donate little small funds rather than helping people in person who i see in the street with the dollar three dollars or whatever i can give because sleep i believe is the best gift for anyone especially someone who is sleep deprived we don't have the right mindset when we are sleep deprived Um, so that's why i donate here um, and if you guys can donate, I'm sure it would be greatly appreciated. It's also important to discuss how, depending on where you are at in life, um, with regards to education, money, housing, helping yourself is helping others, um, especially if you have children. But let's talk about it. Say you. Oh my, she is so seen as a freaking counselor, therapist. I call it. She is talking to someone. Of hundred dollars left in to your name total, and you donate four dollars. That's four percent of your net worth. If someone with a hundred thousand dollars in their bank account donates four percent, that's four grand. If someone with a million dollars in their bank account donates four percent, that's forty thousand dollars, right? Forty thousand, yeah, forty thousand dollars. So, if we can stop holding each other accountable for what we don't do, and all do what we can while putting first ourselves um we can make everything better you know but don't don't call people selfish because they have a hundred in the bank and they give away four affordable too 
I told y'all. What did I tell y'all? I've been super clutch with your advice lately. Look at this. Some lady told me to get this. I'm going to have to start walking around with this in my bra. It's called the Hakka Milk Collector. And apparently you just put it in the one side that's leaking. And all of those ounces can be saved. Look at this. Ooh. I'm just going to say this one because I like this one. Tupac once said... Just because you lost me as a friend doesn't mean you gained me as an enemy. I'm bigger than that. I still want to see you eat, just not at my table. Preach it, Tupac. You suck, Heather. I'm so upset with you. You're on the not to list. What is this? A resume? I don't know if I want to read this. Okay, I'm going to read this just because I saw the word Spanish. <laughs> Qualification summary. Y'all bear with me now. Eager and energetic administrator slash sales pro with 10 plus years experience providing optimal support to busy executives in various industries and medical doctors in various capacities to improve efficiency overall. Skills, sales, website development and copy, social media and influencer marketing and fun... And fundraising. <clears throat> and fundraising, she said. Bilingual and conversational Spanish. Microsoft Office. Typing speed 65 <laughs> WPM. Executive calendar management. Ability to multitask and thrive in fast-paced, high-energy atmosphere. Coordinate meetings with clients. Travel. Itinerary management. Experience using CRM, highly effective communicator with strong organizational skills, demonstrates leadership qualities and it takes initiative. I didn't think you know what that word meant, Heather. You don't ever take initiative. Okay, sorry. Proven history of creative problem solving and outside the box thinking. You do think outside the box. Independent with the ability to lead and work as a team. Experience. Fuck. GoPro Solo, self-employed, 2015 to present, social media management, media, photo shoot, concept, creation and planning, set design, campaign management and execution, modeling, hair, makeup, and wardrobe, character development and creation, digital copywriting, script writing, training and, in <laughs> and development. Merchandise sales, consultation and collaboration management, trade show sales, modeling, event staffing, and promo coordination and management, including liquor and food distribution, and large vendor marketing shows such as the McCormick Place Auto Show, Fishing and Hunting Show, Boat. Dang it, it went away. Okay. Let's start. Okay, so Northwestern Hospital admin clinical assistant, 2010 to 2014. And then it na names, obviously, everything that she did. Like RSA Humana admin assistant, underwriting, 2008 to 2010. Midwest Center for Health. Okay, that was the Cardiovascular Institute, 2005 to 2008. Look, okay, looks like you're keeping a job. This was back in the day now. What was, what, what, when was your last job? 2014? Surely not. Education, Shaw, Marketing Principles Online 2021. NASM, Personal Training Certifications. American Intercontinental University Online Campus. Business Management Healthcare Administration. First Institute, Medical Office Law and Ethics. High school diploma. Okay. So, it, was I right? Is that what she was? Was a phlebotomist pretty much? Like, a, she did data entry, but then she also was a... She became a phlebotomist? Is that the highest she was? I don't know. I argue. I don't know. <laughs> a recommendation letter for Heather Gillespie. To whom it may concern, Heather is a very skilled and compassionate home and health care worker. And the time she helped my family with my father... We found her to be a very trustworthy, hard worker. She consistently demonstrates strength and kindness in the face of challenges, and I'm confident she would make a valuable contribution to any family 
team or organization that is fortunate to hire her. Should you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me using the information above. Regard. No, oh, just a pumpin'. <sighs> pumpin' style. 7.01 a.m. So I have to say, um, with regards to the Turning Point USA uh, speakers who I have been talking about for the past several days, they're creating a safe space for people to believe normal things, traditional things. They're allowing us to feel safe in our values of family and traditional family styles. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's, it's, that's amazing. I feel like so many of these college campuses and young people environments were getting overcrowded with these extreme liberal ideas to the point where you don't even feel safe to have a conservative perspective anymore. Um, so listen to some of her stuff, Candace Owens or Charlie. I don't know the other speakers, but it's just, it's a safe space. And my last thing on the subject is that um, I personally, I do know uh, a few people who identify as trans. Um, I don't call them anything, you know, other than what they ask to be called just out of respect. But if I didn't know them um, and I called them a boy and they were a girl or wanted to be called a girl, they wouldn't jump down my throat over it. Um, these are reasonable people. So while I do think that there is, you know, a certain demographic who's committed to arguing and tormenting, there's also one that just wants to be left alone. And that's fine, too, you know, to each their own, um, you know, let live and let live, so to speak, as long as you're not causing harm to others. Leave the kids alone. Damn, how hard is that to fucking understand? Point blank, period. Damn. Live and let live. But in the Fucking same sense, you have to ass. allow people to live and let live who want to live in traditional family roles and gender roles and, you know, relationships that are monogamous, uh, which are my beliefs. Huge thank you to Nordstrom and to the 900 North Building for having breast pumping restroom facilities. They have free of toilet a sofa, a comfortable chair where you can pump. Or I'm glad Heather was probably there all damn day. Nurse, that is so clutch. Can I stop saying clutch? I thought clutch was an old word. Who the fudge? Who the? I I thought clutch was popular like back whenever I was like in middle school, maybe high school. Why is clutch coming back? Like I'm so confused. Why is she, how is she? Why is she picking up these words? Pilot. A sofa, a comfortable chair where you can pump or nurse. That is so clutch. Can I tell you guys that hospitals don't have that? It's wild to me. These are medical institutions. You would think they'd be the first ones. They don't. Um, so if you're a mom in the Chicago area and you need to nurse or breast pump, they have rooms at, if you're on the south side, they have them at McCormick Place. You don't need to pay to get in. They have multiple of them. They look like the ones in the airport. Um, they have them at the 900 North Building. They have them at the Nordstrom at Northbridge. Um, and if I come up on any other ones, I'll let you guys know. Those are the- She's sending everybody to go nurse their kid. I can't. The only three places that I know of having them right now, but they are so clutch. And asking God for help when you feel like you've been tested so much that you should be questioning things but instead of questioning them you just keep on talking to god you guys i've been praying my entire life and i have to believe of all the spiritual beliefs like karma god um, the universe law of attraction all of that like i have to believe that my time is, is coming like it's my time. It's my season to win. God willing. I thought she was talking about that now. You guys, please keep my family in your prayers. And for everyone who's been praying, donating, sponsoring, being a friend, very, very, very much appreciated. And thank you again. I don't say thank you enough. Thank you very much. If I say thank you once a day, it's not enough. So thank you very much.
I don't say thank you enough. Thank you very much. If I say thank you once a day, it's not enough. So thank you very much. Okay, so obviously Heather knows what she's doing. She's making sure she's looking nice and sweet and blah, 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 blah. My thing is, what are you doing, Heather? Like, you say you're praying, but what are you doing? You have to actually take action, too. And I think if you have a child and you don't want it, I do think you should be ashamed for it. Are you saying that you're ashamed of all those times as well, Heather? I wouldn't fucking know. If you have a child and you don't want it, I do think you should be ashamed for it. And what's more, it's going to be difficult. It's hard. It takes selflessness. So refine your personal skills. Learn how to become selfless and take care of your children. Adrian. Are you kidding me right now, bitch? I wish I mm -mm. The nerve of this biatch, okay? Let me let it play, and then let me say it just in case y'all don't even hear her. If you have a child and you don't want it, I do think you should be ashamed for it. And what's more, it's going to be difficult. It's hard. It takes selflessness. So refine your personal skills, learn how to become selfless, and take care of your children. Yet again, here's the mirror. Fuck you. And I do mean that. If you have a child and you don't want it, I do think you should be ashamed for it. And what's more, it's going to be difficult. It's hard. It takes selflessness. So refine your personal skills. Learn how to become selfless and take care of your children. The audacity of her. Very inspired photography. The South Blue. North Bridge, just outside of Nordy's, Nordstrom, has them too. But in here, Xavier can hang out at the food court or in the lounge rather than just standing outside the ladies' restroom. I wonder how long she stays in there for. Nursing room at Nordstrom. You're back? So no toilet, but you can wash your hands, you can nurse, you can pump, and no one will bother you. 